Greetings, Internet. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Hello. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me in our bedroom for our little program here. Okay. So we went to Santa Cruz for our family vacay. And it's about two and a half hour drive. The way back, it was 2.15. Uh, it was a little traffic but not too bad. Actually, the majority of the traffic was getting from one end of West Sacramento <laughs> to the other, and we're sitting there in traffic, and we're like, let's take Industrial Boulevard next time. I yeah. don't know. Like, there's always traffic there. There's always traffic. On the weekends. Everyone's and, going to Davis. Yeah. And lanes merge, and uh, it's, a, it's a whole thing, but yeah, we need to take Industrial Boulevard next time and circumvent... Uh, the West Sacramento traffic glut. Uh, okay, so our drive there, honey. Now, you packed mad snacks. You had your snack game on point. Uh, Rice Krispie Treats, Ritz. You bought a whole uh, menagerie of flaming Hot Chips, which is a Lennox favorite. Uh, but you also brought carrots. Were the carrots eaten? Did they get touched? Why did you bring carrots, darling? It was an impulse buy. Hmm. And I thought I was going to try to be a little healthy sometimes yeah. and not just snack on sugar and chips the whole time. Yeah. I bought them intending to eat them myself. Yeah. And I've eat, not eaten one so far. Yeah. They're about halfway gone. They're still in our fridge currently. Yeah. A week old now. When, when, when we got back, I needed something besides fried food and junk food. And I smashed a bunch of them. Good. Like, Give me all this uh, carotene. See? This beta carotene. Oh, I can see my eyes are better. Uh, and it, you also brought berries. Yeah, I brought a, a Tupperware full of cut up mango and strawberries and blueberries. Yeah. Those, those got eaten. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you bring any books, honey? You're a bookworm. I brought no book because I knew I wasn't going to read it. Uh, Our days were going to be filled. So uh, I didn't want to pack. I do this every time we go on a vacation. Yeah. I pack my glasses. I pack one or two books. And mm. then I don't touch them. And they're just taking up space. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's all about the thought. It's all about the intention, aspirational. Like, uh, I'll bring uh, workout clothes, and then <laughs> I didn't touch the hotel gym. Uh, yeah, we don't. You, we're too old to make those mistakes. That's no, that's a young man's folly. I'm not. I'm I'm still young, and I have good intentions. Uh, so early check in. So you called the day before because we were gonna get there. We're pl- targeting to get there around one p.m. Uh, you called the day before to ask about early check-in. Uh, what did the people say to you? They said early check-in can only be requested the day of. And they said they're going to send us a text, like a pre-check-in text. Yeah. And then you can click on a link and go from there and try to request it. Yeah. And then day of, I called, uh, got the front desk gal, and I asked for early check-in. And she said, mm, that's probably possible. And then that was it. That was, that was the end of her, uh, her soliloquy, her sales job. Uh, but she's, same thing. She's like, uh, you're going to get a text uh, and if, if, uh, if, or, and, or you can uh, just ask at the, at the front desk. So some time passes. I get the text, early check in. Yeah. 40 bucks, $40, four zero for early check in. Like, what the heck? And it wasn't guaranteed. It wasn't guaranteed also. <laughs> so $40 for 1 p.m. check-in, I was like, hell nah. Uh, it was also $25 for, they had, a, they had a little underground parking garage. We stayed at La Quinta in Santa Cruz, uh, which was heaven sent. Like, parking around there is d- a disaster. And just traffic in general, because the beach, it's a small downtown um, there's lots of people, lots of uh, idiot tourists like ourselves, uh, causing traffic jams and uh, opening all these Starbucks and Panera. Gentrification, we're the problem, honey, we're the problem. But I gladly paid $25 a day for underground parking, garage. Uh, so, And I wonder, like, so the... the and that, oop. So we get to the, to the telly uh, around 1, 1. 15, walk up to the front desk gal and i say hey i would like early check-in and she said mm, your room's gonna be ready at three and i said okay lady uh and then 
she's like, well, you can park in the garage and you can hang out in the pool and you can walk around, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, uh, so she says, yeah, just take a right at the corner and our garage is right there. Take a right garage and the gate is closed. The garage is closed. And so I call her, we're sitting like at the, at the closed gate in front of the parking garage. And I call her and I say, uh, yeah, we just talked and you said, I could park down here and the gates closed. So she moved, she hoofed it from the front desk out the dough around the corner on the sidewalk. And she came all the way down and oh, she could use a few steps. Let's be honest. Uh, but she said, uh, she said, sorry. She opened the gate. She had a little fob and she said, you, you can have one item from the little, uh, like pantry market snack area in the hotel. And I thought, bet. <laughs> and then later I, I was like, let me get one of them hard seltzers, lady. And she goes, oh, I can't give you alcohol. And I was like, well, what the hell is the point then? <laughs> what am I going to do? Get a small bag of chips that you're charging $4 for that should cost mm, around 40 cents. Uh, but And then, so she gives us our keys. We finally check in uh, about 2.45. She gives us our keys. Go upstairs. The keys don't work. It's like this lady was having problems. <laughs> this lady was having problems. She was, she is a ginger, honey, and I'm not saying don't trust gingers, but uh, she was doing us wrong. And by the way, she didn't work anymore. We were staying there for three nights. She disappeared. Yeah, we never saw her again. Never yeah. got our free item from yeah. from the market. Yeah. And okay, they had small bags of chips, but they also had freaking quarts of ice cream, dude. <laughs> And it was a special kind of ice cream, a brand I never heard of. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they sell it for 10 bucks or whatever in that little uh, market pantry. Uh, they had Lean Cuisine frozen entrees. They probably sell for six or seven bucks. Uh, we never got our due. We never got what she promised us. Uh, so check in. We walked down to the wharf. Or is it a pier, honey? It's a wharf. Wharf from uh, Star Trek. He's the angry Klingon. Uh, it's long, man. You start walking, and you keep walking and walking, uh, but it's a good time. There's sea lions. Or, 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 or. People be fishing. People be fishing. And, like, they got their fishing rods and poles or whatever, uh, casting lines. And it's kind of like you're walking between them and their pole because they're just sitting there in the back of their car or standing there. Um, it's it's a whole scene. It's fun, though. It's uh, lots of restaurants. Tons of shopping, uh, people walking around, fishing, uh, volleyball everywhere on the beach. It's like pickleball, as prevalent as pickleball is all around uh, the United States now. Volleyball everywhere in uh, Santa Cruz on the beach. Uh, so we walked down the wharf and it was quite a walk. And then we head back to the telly and we started drinking the Franzia. Yes, we drank boxed wine in our hotel room. With the, the hotel ice to cool it. Uh, but our pinkies were out, honey. <laughs> we're very fancy. Uh, the weather was high 60s, so it was cool. Yeah, it got warm, though, because the sun came out. Yeah. So it was really perfect. You and Len spent some time at the beach. Yes. You went in, you got uh, neck deep? No, not on not on our first day. Yeah. Um, that was on our last day. Yeah. But on the first day, we he got in like up to his waist, and I went in up to you know, my mid shin. Yeah. So I told him we're going to come back. We're going to do like a proper ocean swim later. But that first night we just waited in a little bit. I didn't bring, I forgot my bathing suit and I just, I, I didn't go to the beach at all. I mean, we were there at the beach, but I just, I didn't want to deal with the sand and then I can't swim and we don't have <laughs> towels and we don't have snacks uh, and uh, uh, an umbrella or whatever. So I just stayed uh, off the sand, as it were. Uh, okay, so Diener was a big deal. We went to the Jack O'Neill restaurant and lounge. This Jack O'Neill is the guy that the surf brand O'Neill is named after. Um, we had Rezzy's for 5 p.m. It's inside the Dream Inn, which is a super fancy hotel right on the beach. It's gorgeous. It's new. Um, it starts at five, $600 a night. Uh, so we walk into to the O'Neill 
Jack O'Neill restaurant and lounge, honey. And can you describe uh, the ambiance, the vibe? It was so beautiful. The view is right there. Um, you're right there sitting by the beach and you can see the whole the ocean and the wharf yeah and it's it's nice it's upscale yeah it's huge windows uh, a view like no other and it it, it is fancy but it's also kind of kind of low-key like beach surf spot yeah like uh, i didn't feel out of place i was just in like right. jeans and a cardigan yeah and i felt like we were fine it toes that fine line well you were concerned about us walking in uh, in our hoodies, and <laughs> uh, but we looked at a few pictures on Yelp, and I was like, "Look at this old guy." Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, we would fit in with these people." <laughs> this guy is little rent as heck. Uh, we ordered a couple espresso martinis. Uh, what did you think of yours, honey? It was so strong. Yeah. And you're off the espresso martini now. Too strong. You're over it. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun, and I still love Below Deck, but I'm <laughs> just going back to beer because I'm a real man. Yeah. Uh, all day you were talking about ordering octopus, <laughs> uh, oyster. You wanted to be adventurous. I did. Uh, I muscle, mussels. I decided to not go with the octopus. Yeah. But I did get the oysters. Yeah. Uh, it was two oysters for four dollars. That's actually, I mean, I don't know anything. Or I think anything. that's good. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal to me for an appetizer. Uh, it comes with uh, min mignonette. Yes. Is that how you would pronounce I it? I think so. I would pronounce it mignonette. <laughs> that's how it's spelt. Uh, it's just vinegar and uh, some shallots in there, and it came with a cocktail sauce and a lemon. Uh, what did you think of your mus- your oysters, honey? They weren't bad. I put just a teeny bit of cocktail sauce on one. Yeah. And I, I ate that. And then the second one I put nothing on. It's like seasoned though, or maybe it's just naturally kind of salty. Mm. They were good. Were they raw? They were were they cooked? They were raw, ah. but they were small. Yeah. So it was just like a tiny little thing in your mouth. It yeah. wasn't overwhel- overwhelming or too yeah. much. A little hit, a little shot of oyster. Uh, you offered it to me and I said, no, <laughs> no one wanted it. Yeah. I stay away from, especially raw oyster mussels, calamari, octopus. I have zero desire to eat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was your, that was your appetizer. And then for your entree, you got a salad, uh, heirloom tomato salad described as Savoy spinach, whatever that is. Stone fruit. Is that like dried fruit? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Wow, nuts, goat cheese, basil, rabbit, gote, whatever that is. Uh, what'd you think, honey? Uh, it was so good. Mm. I love goat cheese. Yeah. The basil, rabbit, gote, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it was delicious. It was kind of like a little pesto y sauce uh, or pesto dressing. Yeah. It was delicious. Yeah. Uh, for my food, I wanted crab cakes, but they were 27 bucks. And then. I wanted the pran- prawns and pasta, which is 42 and I'm like, I'm not spending, or, well, you paid, honey, but I'm not having my wife spend $70 on some food for me, uh, so I didn't get the crab cakes, but I got the prawns and pasta. I didn't read the description. I just saw prawns, okay, shrimp, pasta, okay, nudes or whatever, uh, and $42 is outrageous, but we're out here, we were living our best life. So the prawns and pasta was prawn bisque, seasonal ravioli, and pea shoots. The pea shoots, whatever. It was barely a vegetable there. Um, But I I feel like the ravioli should be in the title. Because I don't like ravioli. I mean, Uh, it's fine. But... They should definitely say what type of pasta you're getting. Yeah. And they did in the fine print. (laughs) In in the uh, end user uh, license agreement that I clicked agree to. You Um, need it in bold. Right. It needs to be in the headline, the title. Yeah. Because you give me, you talk about prawns and pasta. I'm thinking nudes. When I think pasta, I think nudes. I don't think ravioli. Ravioli is ravioli. Yeah. Yeah. Pasta, I expect like a noodle shape. Yeah. That was deep, honey. Ravioli is ravioli. (laughs) Yeah. So I just saw the headline, prawns and pasta. I was like, give me that. So, uh, so the pea shoots were there. The ravioli was there. I don't like... I, ravioli's fine, but I don't dig ravioli, and I, I avoid it if I can. Um, so, yeah, it did come with ravioli. It came with five ravioli in a $42 
dish entree. It came with five little pockets of ravioli. And I was like, all right. Uh, and then the prawns, the shrimp, five shrimp. Okay, five. That's that should never. That should be the title. That should be the headline. Five shrimp, five ravioli, <laughs> forty-two flipping dollars. It was just like, are you kidding me, dude? This is barely a meal. Um, it's more like a snack. Maybe an there's appetizer. nothing like super fancy about it. It was pretty basic too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. There were no gold flakes or anything. Right. The the shrimp were uh, were thick were um, yeah. on the on the larger side which which uh, I, I appreciated uh, five ravioli five shrimp with the tail on now uh, honey tail on tail off uh, what, what's your what's your opinion on this it's kind of a pain I just want to be able to to take my fork stab a shrimp and put the whole thing in my mouth yeah but you can't do that and I've come to accept it yeah it is what it is you got to eat the shrimp like that. So, you gotta touch it with your hand and okay. bite it off. Because the other option is you just take your fork and cut it where the tail begins. Yeah, I guess you could do that. Yeah. So uh, the tail were on these mighty, mighty shrimp. And I grab one by the tail. And, you know, I mean, I'm paying 40 Well, you're paying $42 <laughs> for this. I want every last bit of shrimp goodness I can get. So I'm like, I kind of yank on it with my teeth. And then all of a sudden, splooge all over my my eyeglasses, shrimp, <laughs> nectar, prawn bisque all over my glasses. It was disgusting. It was embarrassing. <laughs> Luna looked at me like, I don't know you. I don't <laughs> want to know you. I'm not with him. <laughs> I, I'll take the check, please. I'm leaving. Um, it was just like, what the hell, dude? And I, I, it, I don't think the tail should be on or give me the option and I'll be like tail off. Cause I don't want, uh, I don't want to get my eyeglasses all petered north up in here. Uh, it was just, it was, it was a travesty is what it was. Uh, our total till was $121 and, and a third of that comes from my, <laughs> uh, prawn and pasta, whatever, bisque, shrimp, shrimp and ravioli. Uh, I thought I thought my my food was a miss, uh, but you liked your food. I did. I was really happy with all, both my dishes. Yeah, and the restaurant, the space was uh, gorgeous, beautiful. Um, I'm glad we went, but yeah, it was it was uh, we hecka overpaid. Thanks, Joe Biden. After that, we went back to the telly, chilled a little more. The La Quinta pool, it's small, but it was happening, dude. Yeah. There were kids, there were parents, there were young people uh, just frolicking about. Uh, I appreciate it. Our room was on the second floor. Partial ocean view, honey. That's how they put, that's how they sold it on the website. And you know what? We had a partial ocean view. Yeah, I was happy. Overall, I was so happy with our hotel. Yeah. It was the perfect distance walking around to restaurants and the beach yeah. and the boardwalk. And yeah. we had that secure parking. Yes. Yeah. I was happy there. Yeah. Uh, Len slept on the floor. Uh, he brought his sleeping bag. Uh, we got a couple blankets from uh, the front desk. Um, but I, you know what? The mat, the mattress was terrible. Yeah. The mattress the bed was, was uncomfortable. Hard. Yeah. So I think the floor was an upgrade. He probably had it as good or better than we did on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, that's day one. Are we done, honey? We're done with day one. Okay. Day two coming up uh, in 24 to 48 hours. Okay. A ball bye. <laughs>